Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I want to talk to you guys very shortly about a documentary I just saw. I was part of the press screening of it, and I want to thank James for sending me the documentary that he made, and I want to thank uh, Big Dave Crossland for doing this. You guys know that I reviewed the first one, the first Under Construction. I just uh, watched part two today, the new documentary that just came out. Uh, I'm going to link their Facebook page for it down below for you guys. This documentary was a little deeper and darker than I thought it was going to be. I found certain parts of it a little bit emotional for me personally. There were a few parts of it that were a little slow. Overall, it was a very well done documentary. And because it delves so deeply into body image disorders, yes, it's mainly about muscle dysmorphia, but anyone in the fitness community, anyone in the bodybuilding world, the hardcore training community, whether their obsession is a perfectly sculpted physique or being shredded or being enormous and monstrously huge, suffer from body image disorders. And that almost always leads to not just drug use, but drug abuse, abuse of anabolics, abuse of other PEDs to the extreme, extreme diets, extreme lifestyles. And this movie really brings home the mindset of that with someone who is older, who has dealt with major body image disorders and body dysmorphia their entire life, abusing anabolics for many years, even making massively educated choices. Someone who's a public speaker and educator about these things, who actually works with police and other people, but yet himself still chooses to abuse these things to the extreme and takes risks and in many ways pays a price with his health for it. And... This is one of those documentaries that if you suffer from sort of body image disorder or if you've ever used anabolics or considered anabolics or you have close loved ones who use them or suffer from these issues, this movie's probably worth checking out for you. I'm going to highly recommend it for those people because it's not about the, some glorified aspects of pro bodybuilding that's hyped up. This is about the average person out there who suffers with body image disorders and who goes to these extremes who is never going to win a sand now they're never going to be on the mr olympia stage and those people far far outnumber those who are going to make it in professional bodybuilding and it really i think adds balance to the story it gives a more realistic perspective of what these things are really like in the real world and it even includes footage interviewing an underground lab distributor who makes thousands and thousands of bottles of anabolics to distribute every week. And it just adds a whole new perspective to all of this for a lot of people. And one thing I do want to say to Dave, I definitely can understand where you're coming from early in the movie where you discuss the own things and the hateful comments and things that people say to you. Because, brother, the bigger you get on the internet, the worse they're going to get. I, it's something I personally deal with on a level that I don't think most people even realize uh, how much of that stuff I get on a daily or weekly basis. So I absolutely relate to you there. And that was very personal to me when you were just talking about kind of how some of that makes you feel. And my advice to you, Dave, you can't let that stuff get to you. Because the people who send you that stuff, if they can beat you down, they will. That's their intended goal. All right, guys, but that's my review of the documentary. If you fall into any of those categories, I would definitely recommend that you go check this out and get a copy of it for your collection. So I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.